destination. Mining engineer. Demolitions Class C. Report to Parker Sector. Fun ride? Yeah. A blast. How's Mom? She misses you. Sorry I missed Dad's funeral. Things here have been... hard. No one expected you to come halfway across the system. Oh, God. What the hell was that? Well, the EDF. They own the road and everything else. Forget the propaganda. Free Mars is over. Action? Didn't enough people die the last time? We're under martial law here. Prison camps. Torture. Death squads. People need something to believe in. Well, this is it. I've got your gear over there. So here's how it works. It'll be a couple of weeks before you... Wait here. You've been made by the EDF. There's no one's going on. You're not listening to me. They're looking for you. These gunships are critical. They're looking for you. They're looking for you. They're looking for you. I've seen her somewhere. I doubt. Like I was saying, the sooner we get to work, the sooner we get paid. Here's the site I was telling you about. It was a research outpost once, before the Marauders killed the scientists. Marauders? You don't want to be caught out here after dark, but it's a good place to find salvage. I'm here to mine, not hunt for scrap. On Mars, scrap is like gold. Got your sledgehammer and charges? Good. Let's see what you can do. Shit. Up in the sky. EDF gunship. Didn't think they'd be out here today. I'll keep an eye on it. You get the salvage. See that salvage on the ground? Pick it up so we can trade it. Use your remote charges and take down that big structure right there. Right now you can set two charges before you detonate them. Remember, you can swap weapons and still use the detonator. Come back to me if you run out of charges. Hurry up, Alec! Damn it. What the hell is going on? Who's the girl? You know what's going on. Alec, the Red Faction could really use a guy like you. To do what? What are you people doing out here? Whatever it takes. I'm not a terrorist, Dan. You think I am? The EDF are wiping out towns. Alec, we need help. Hey, you got me into enough trouble Earthside. I just want to do honest work here. That's what we're fighting for. If we don't resist, they'll take everything. Enough. 
You'll see I'm right about this. We need to hide. From what? Daniel Mason, you are under arrest. Surrender or we will open fire. Alec, run! Run! Earth Defense Force changed the face of Mars. They terraformed so we could breathe the air. They built bases, checkpoints, watchtowers. The Liberators soon became an occupying force. And now they killed my brother. Dan said they'd take everything. For me, they already have. Drop the weapon, now! <laughs> You guys afraid of a hammer? Drop it, smartass. Hey, what right have you got to trash Your my- Your brother is Daniel Mason. Yeah, he was. He's dead. This trailer and its contents have been confiscated by the Earth Defense Force. We're placing you under arrest. For what? Don't play dumb with me, Miner. You're Red Faction. <laughs> Look, I just shipped here from- I guess you work fast. We found these detonators among your possessions. I'm a mining engineer. I have a permit for the- It just got revoked. Shoot him.
Mason, my name is Simonia. I worked with your brother. <laughs> Lucky you. I know this is a lot to take in, but you're going to have to trust us. Why? Because you don't really have any other option. The commander thought you should have this field manual. It'll help you survive out here. Welcome to the Red Faction. We'll start off with the basics. There are six populated sectors on Mars. Parker, Dust, Badlands, Oasis, the Free Fire Zone, and Eos. All of which are controlled by the Earth Defense Force. Our goal is to liberate all six sectors driving the EDF off the planet. There's only one problem. The EDF is a professional military organization. They've got the money, the training, and the firepower to take us down. Direct assaults are suicide. We need to hit their weak points, attack them when they least expect it, destroy high-value targets, and then get the hell out of there. If you ever need to hide from the EDF, restock ammo, or choose a different set of weapons for your field work, safe houses are set up throughout the world. Any available safe house will be marked on your map. Good luck. Mason, this is our former base of operations. We had to clear out before the EDF discovered it. Now we just need to cover our tracks. I know you're familiar with demolition, so maybe you can help us out. We need that building destroyed. Blow up anything that the EDF could trace back to us. Think you can handle it? This will be a piece of cake. We're transmitting the base coordinates now. Got it. I'm on my way. Uh... Davies. Hugo Davies. How'd you get caught up in this? The mining conglomerates found a huge ore deposit beneath our colony and tried to force us off the land. When we resisted, the EDF rolled in. It was a massacre. I'm sorry. We found refugees from other colonies and our numbers grew. Your brother joined us soon after. There was always Dan's problem. Couldn't run from a fight. base. Good. Use whatever you can to bring her down. We left some fuel tanks behind. You can shoot them or set charges to blow them up.
and an EDF unit is heading your way. I'd hurry up and finish the job. You said this was gonna be easy. said this was going to be easy! More EDF are on the way. Get back to the safe house. Same definition of easy as you. I know you're angry, but we don't have the luxury of playing it safe. Your brother understood that. Mason, we need your help. There's new info in your guerrilla handbook that will be useful. The EDF's hold on each sector varies. Bring up your map to see the control value for each sector. Successfully completing guerrilla actions like raids drives control down. So does destroying EDF property, which is shown in red on your map. We've identified targets that are key to EDF operations. The ones marked as medium importance cause a bigger control drop when destroyed. A few are marked as high importance. Those require some planning before you hit them and will turn into a hornet's nest when you do. But the payoff is big. Each sector also has missions which are required for liberation. Drop the control to zero, complete all the missions, and the EDF will pull out. If we're going to defeat the EDF, we need the support of the people. To do that, we have to raise morale in each sector. Morale goes up as you complete guerrilla actions, destroy EDF propaganda, and a few other things you'll discover along the way. However, when a colonist is killed, that sector's morale drops, so be careful. As morale in a sector increases, ammo crates will be better stocked and colonists will begin to fight alongside you. Also, the amount of salvage you get for completing a mission will increase if morale in the sector is high. Higher morale means more ammo, more help, and more salvage. Three crucial elements we need to succeed. received word that a high-ranking EDF officer is looking to defect. Sam went out to meet with him. I know she can handle herself, but she shouldn't have gone alone. After what happened at the old base, I'm not taking chances. Get to Sam as soon as you can. Sam, you there? What's wrong? Your commander thinks you're walking into a trap. What happened to your brother? Wait, I think 
Operation you guys are running. The EDF will send reinforcements. Jokes or get ready for them. You can't do both. The truck should come in right under that bridge. They'll definitely set. the building they attacked me in. Finish up. The drones will be here soon. They'll be looking for me. We'll have a better chance against the EDF near the buildings, not out in the open. Try setting charges near the catwalk and wait for the EDF to cross it. You'll need to time the detonation just right.
to Parker Dorm.
one's got to stand up against the EDF!
on my knees! We'll need to find a new base of operations soon. We're picking up. I need a sharp in. Those drones won't stand a chance. Glad I could help. civilians till they find out who ambushed that patrol. Can you do some recon for us? You out of here.
here. Right. Pay attention to your surroundings and use what's in front of you. Oh, and make sure you're out of the...
with the right tools, you can make an impossible task look easy. And then afterwards, you can talk about how awesome you are. With the right tools, you can make an impossible task look easy. And then afterwards, you can talk about how often... Awesome.